Blessings to the water signs. Welcome and full moon blessings. This is super full moon blessings, Buck super moon. That's a lot going on always in these seasons, isn't there? We're going to tap into the priestess of the light oracle for our water signs and see what's going on for you on a general level. All right. And then for a individual reading for our cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios, we're going to tap in and see what's going on for you. Starting with the light players tarot, we'll look at the middle card energy at the center of everything and get a little bit more clarity about what's going on with that and then clarify the rest of the whole reading with the vice versa tarot and do stick around for your lover's oracle card at the very end all right so hopefully you are letting go and moving into the spaces that you need to at this time booking the system on the old ish and moving into the new blessings to the angels ancestors way showers and guides priestess of the light bring forth the message that the water signs need the most at this time take a couple of nice slow deep breaths and relax five four three two one thank you so much for your likes donations comments, shares, and of course for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and do so so you don't miss any of the readings. We're going to tap in to the priestess. Wow, that was quick. For the water signs, angelic assistance. You must really need this because this almost hit me in the face. Whoever you are at this time, call on your angels. You are needing them at this time, whatever it is that you're going through. Some of you could be in very dire need at this time of whatever the assistance may be divine guidance loving support i was hearing money i was hearing food um just being able to take care of your basic needs even at this time is a lot what i'm hearing water signs angelic assistance divine guidance loving support is a six so we're needing things to be balanced out in our life i feel like a lot of us are kind of maybe like at our wits end and really needing some divine intervention, if you will. All right, so the hands are out and hopefully giving us that assistance that we need. Do, in fact, open your mouth, though, and ask, because that is necessary. They cannot intervene without your asking and your will. This tender-hearted, smiling angel brings you a message of encouragement and support. Heavenly light emanates from her heart and hands, and the brilliance of divine consciousness shines down from above to the top of her head. This vibrating resonance of healing and loving power is all around you, brought by the angels who long to assist you in every area of your life, and maybe they're longing because they're waiting for you to ask. If you have never turned to the angels before, now is the time to start. They are a very real presence in the world and they can exert a significant influence on your life. If you have a problem that needs resolving or a project that needs some inspiration, the angels can help you there. Whether you are stuck in a physical issue or a difficult relationship, the angels bring clarity and healing. It's coming to that place of peacefulness within yourself breathing, calming yourself, all right? There's a process with all of this that I'm gonna be teaching more fully on. So look for that and check out happymediumhypnosis.com in the meantime, and reach out if you need some services and helping to calm yourself in any area. So stop resisting and open up to their very real power. Invite them to walk with you through your day ask for their guidance, energy, and joyous resolutions. Then let yourself stop and take a moment to receive. Absolutely. You will be amazed by the healing, peace, and inspiration that comes your way. <laughs> oh yes, you will be. All right, here's your affirmation, dear water signs, for this week. And it is all to do with your heart and being able to bring that peace to your heart. Peace be still. My life is filled with angelic power. I ask for their assistance and open up 
to their healing love. My life is filled with angelic power. I ask for their assistance and open up to their healing love. My life is filled with angelic power. I ask for their assistance and open up to their healing love. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. All right, dear water signs. So we are needing to call on that assistance. Don't be afraid or too proud to, because this is absolutely going to help you at this time to get through and balance out whatever it is that you need to, particularly your heart. All right, maybe there's been a lot of burdens that you've been trying to balance out. You found yourself at this place, this point in your life where you're like, you know, how did things get to this point perhaps? All right, Cancer, let's check in and see what's going on. This is definitely all around your heart. Perhaps you have been having a lot of burdens around your heart, past relationships or a current relationship that you may be needing to heal from and ask the angels to assist you on at this time or your loved ones that you may see as angels. Absolutely, though, committing yourself to healing, releasing these burdens, all right? Doing what you need to. So let us see what is going on for cancer at this time. Cutting the deck. We're going to clarify this middle energy. What is coming out for you is the hermit. You're definitely taking some time alone. This is a great time to tap in with your angels and ask for them to assist you at this time, perhaps for that next step forward, because I see you seeking. You're looking at your inner light, really examining perhaps where your life has come to and wanting to see what is the next step forward. So when you move out of this place, you know where you're going. Could be a lot of inner child healing at this time with the Six of Cups in reverse or it could be a soulmate situation that has just ended in your you know foundations this is what it's showing is going on so while you're spending that time alone you could be healing you could be you know getting back on track making a plan so that you can start moving again in the right direction towards you know getting everything set up on this earthly plane the right way considering perhaps the right people to connect with and partner with and maybe that's been part of the problem and why everything hasn't really panned out for you well now spirit is asking you to heal the star card is all about healing and this is a again a perfect time to call on your angels just like this card is asking for dear cancer crossing you Queen of Pentacles in reverse your home could be definitely in disarray at this time just not feeling balanced you know, I feel though that you really are tapping into this energy that is going to help to turn everything around. But I feel like you're tired of these burdens. You're, you're ready to celebrate instead of having all these burdens. Yeah, and then it cut to the Ace of Cups. Spirit is here to assist you as well. Again, call on your angels. Ask them to give you the strength, whatever it is that you need the hermit card we're going to read more on today it's a number nine energy so you're going to figure out something that's going to help you to know the right direction to move with all of this because nine is all about wish fulfillment coming to the end of that road right on this situation so the light seer aspect says inner reflection meditation contemplation soul searching inner wisdom spiritual mentor finding your guide within taking time away from the chaos of a busy life hermiting as i usually say with this card you're just spending a lot of time alone in your own thoughts and things of that nature so you can say this affirmation with this card or take on the energies of this card for this week inner sage inner mentor inner guide Show me my brightest light so that I may see with all of my heart. Beautiful. And the angelic assistance is certainly going to help you to see clearly, to be able to do this healing perhaps that you need to do at this time. All right, let's clarify a little bit further with all this and see what's going on 
for my cancers do hit the like button if you're resonating with this energy of the star and you're ready to heal that inner child and really do that soul searching that's needed to allow you to do so the hermit for the center of all of this definitely needing to get that clarity soul searching so that you're no longer confused and juggling all right you know exactly which direction you want to move forward no longer giving your energy and time to anything toxic all right breaking free of all of that everything that seemed like it was your happiness but was an illusion what's the six of cups in reverse and the foundation three of cups energy could have definitely been a third party energy that interfered with this six of cups energy and caused everything in your foundation to crumble and you had no choice but to walk away from the situation absolutely in this now rebirth period that you so what's the best way to say that well it's pretty much like night and day right as soon as something ends something begins every new beginning comes from some other beginnings end i know who i want to take me home but you know that song right every new beginning comes from some other beginnings and yeah all right king of pentacles in reverse so maybe the truth is is that this king of pentacles was definitely you know that type of energy that uh, has money flashy kind of thing yeah but it was trying to be controlling perhaps and you said you put an end to that yeah maybe you've got money maybe you can you know help support me and make things easier for me but is it really worth it if i've got to deal with this kind of energy no so you recognize your own value and self-worth is what i'm seeing here today but it doesn't mean it's always the easiest decision for us to make right so you're not holding yourself back any longer from you know leaving these situations is what i see where you're not uh, 1221 coming up on the timer you're not seeing that mirroring effect you're not getting what you're giving in return I feel like you're definitely using your intuition right no longer confused about love and what that should look like star very good to see for moving forward for you my dear cancers because this is all about getting unstuck learning our lessons getting a new perspective and understanding that all is not lost just because you know somebody tried to you know, like cut their energy off from us we know the truth we can always recover from these situations especially if we call on the angelic assistance all right to get us unstuck from these situations this is, these are not things that we can do on our own and we definitely do need assistance with what is the energy of love moving forward? This is definitely an energy of a lost loved one, maybe someone who's passed over. Um, I do definitely always get that uh, soulmate and inner child energy from here. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. All right, so just know that, especially with this angelic assistance card, I really feel like everything is getting balanced out. And no matter what's been lost, you're going to receive a lot more. And, you know, everything has its place and value, whether it's past, present, or future. It's all in how we see it, our perception of it, right? So we can choose to do that healing and move forward and ask to be assisted in doing so, so we can truly move towards what's meant for us, you know, what's really in our heart. Blessings to you, Cancer, for your week ahead. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon and bye for now. All right, so Scorpio, let's see what is going on for you. <clears throat> Angelic assistance. So, some tough times we're going through right now, perhaps, huh? Trying to balance out our finances, trying to get our home together, perhaps, and have everything feel like it's more in order, feels more like that home that we've always envisioned, perhaps. 
Uh, but maybe not everything is right, like the players in the game. So we were perhaps searching and deciding if maybe the person that we're playing house with is the one that we're uh, really happy with, or are they causing us confusion? Well, your heart at work is what I see here, and maybe turning your back on even looking at the situation, being concerned about it at the moment. Yes, it's still there, but it's kind of like the white elephant in the room. But I feel like this is something that um, we're coming to a point where we need to make a decision. Do we want to stick around with it or move forward? Knight of Cups. All right, so that's at the center of this energy. So is this somebody trying to be your Knight of Cups, you know, trying to offer their cup of love to you? Or are you seeing yourself more of the Knight of Cups energy where you're saving yourself? Interesting. Strength in reverse for our foundation. So we stop giving our energy 1551 to some situation. So maybe there, something wasn't being uh, equally given. Mm. Queen of Swords in reverse in the past would show somebody's pretty upset about some truth, perhaps, that they found out about something that maybe somebody stopped giving, you know, to a relationship. Is this you? You're no longer wanting to give to a relationship? Maybe constantly not feeling happy? <laughs> King of Cups in reverse. I feel like, you know, maybe you have someone around you I don't know. It's almost like a fantasy type of energy, or maybe you're in this, you're this romantic, you know, hopeless romantic, but everything around you is not showing you that it's resonating with what it is that you see as that happily ever after, if you will, that fairy tale. And now here we are in this four of swords in reverse energy. So needing to rest, reaching a burnout point, you know, hermit in reverse not following, you know, needing to do that soul searching, maybe not moving in the right direction, you know, not being as committed as we need to be to a situation. Let's see what the Knight of Cups energy at the center of all of this is saying for you, my dear Scorpios. So it is in the upright. Knight of Cups energy is saying for the light seer, uh, a classic romantic, a passionate soul, artistic tendencies, creativity, wearing your heart on your sleeve, seeking connection, being in love with the idea of love and chivalry. So maybe needing to reevaluate what love means to you and is it a realistic I, or is it more of an idealistic aspect that you are more looking for or, you know, wanting from someone. So here is the affirmation for this card for this week that you're welcome to say to help bring in these energies. I am in touch with my emotions and that's what we need to be for sure and maybe we need that assistance to help us to be, be more in touch with our emotions because we've got the king of cups in reverse moving into the future and that's definitely not somebody who's very loving. So we may need to ask for spirit to help us, our angels to help us, to ground us, to center us, to maybe get a clearer aspect and idea of what love really is, self-love as well as what that looks like within relationships and coming from another person, you know what I mean? All right, Knight of Cups at the center of all of this. What is this for Scorpio? Scorpio energy, please. And we have the magician coming out. So maybe somebody was trying to sell you that fantasy, if you will, or putting on a facade. Um, and maybe you weren't using your intuition wisely and, you know, thinking that something looked good. Uh, gold dust, you know, if you will. But really, this person is kind of like hot or cold instead of, you know, they lay it on thick maybe in the beginning, but now it's not quite as satisfying as it once was. What's the strength in reverse for Scorpio? Oh, definitely. <laughs> strength in reverse with strength in reverse and seven of pentacles in reverse. You're definitely not seeing any growth potential and you're definitely not giving any energy to the situation. I feel like, ooh, you're focused on growth, but I feel like it's more of a single type of energy. Yeah, 
death energy. I feel like you're at a point where <laughs> you're in your element, if you will. You want to put an end to something maybe so that you can step into your Empress energy. Queen of Swords in reverse. Maybe you feel like somebody's holding you back. Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. So maybe you feel like you're pissed off because you're being held back from being able to take advantage of opportunities and make plans um, in ways that, you know, may not set well with this person, even if it doesn't mean like with another person, but it could be other people trying to come at you and uh, make plans to be with you as well. And maybe you're going within and soul searching and looking at that. Try not to be confused about the situation, if you will. Seven of Wands in reverse on your mind. You're definitely not wanting to entertain any of these uh, part-time lovers is what I was hearing. All right. And maybe that's all that's coming towards you at this time. That could be the truth that you need to just get away from these situations, yeah, because they're absolutely affecting your energy negatively. Ace of Wands in reverse. So what is the King of Cups? In the reverse, we have the Chariot with the Seven of Swords in reverse. So we definitely want to get away from any destructive, deceptive energy, anything that causes us to feel pissed off, close our heart off, you know, to any potential positive, you know, experiences that could come into our lives, you know, because it's all about divine timing, but it's all about also knowing when to get out, when to be aware of these situations so we don't get in too deep. And then it ends up having this negative effect on us where we're imbalanced and unhappy three of cups in reverse temperance in reverse all right so we really have to monitor our energy and sometimes when people have really <clears throat> done a number on us especially when they say lied to us and we believe the fantasy you know like they work their magic on us if you will is what i see with that energy yeah that'll really piss somebody off on it all right, so playfulness is coming out today, and the energy of playfulness says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. Now, you could be just, you know, laughing off this situation, you know, with spirit and saying, oh, that was a good one, universe, you know. Okay, I know better for next time. Be honest and be true to myself, and, you know, don't... Uh, uh, saddle basically is what I see with this energy. So Scorpio, if you are resonating with this energy and you're ready to call in that assistance and move forward in your life, hit the like button and do subscribe. I'll see you soon for another reading. Bye for now. Okay, Pisces, let us see what is going on for you for this week with this angelic assistance energy. How are you doing? Full buck Moon and Port Capricorn is what we're looking at for this July. And literally, we are within 24 hours of it. I'm doing this reading on 7-11. Trying to get all, all of the readings out before midnight and before the energy goes into the next day, but we'll see. All right, four pentacles I have coming out for you. Using your intuition, I want to hold back from, perhaps, is what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces. All right, what else is coming out for you? Ooh, looking for that wave, waiting for just the right wave, all right? Waiting for what you know is worthy of you and what you are worthy of, right? Beautiful, I love that. Ace of Swords, maybe some truth coming out today about the direction that you may be taking, a new direction. Hmm, interesting. Let us see. For Pisces. At the center of it all, we are seeing Empress in reverse. Something has definitely caused you to feel stunted in your growth, if you will. Not moving forward, not having the successes 24 24, not feeling balanced, you know, things of that nature. Stillborn energy commitment here at the foundation you are committed though to the higher path for sure but i do feel like something has caused you to you know 
have to take the blindfold off and see what was going on and maybe something did happen here in the past where the blindfold did come off and this threw you off you know out of your element if you will six of pentacles you're definitely looking for things to be balanced out in this situation uh, where maybe things were not balanced or were not fair page of pentacles yeah this looks like you regaining your balance understanding your worth and value and probably you know spending a lot of time alone and definitely calling on your angels to assist you at this time as you're healing from a situation that maybe could have and tried to leave you in that victim mentality and feeling like you couldn't carry on but you know better and calling on your angelic team will certainly help you to get through any situation all right those of us that are smart know that <laughs> and we take that path forward happily knowing that we're freeing ourselves from these situations that maybe made us feel trapped all right we're going to regain our balance and we're going to be even better than we were before empress energy which is a number three card so this is all about somebody throwing our perhaps tried to throw us off of our connection with spirit by breaking our spirit if you will the light seer or the shadow seer i should say or the reverse aspect of this card or challenger says infertility so you could be having problems getting pregnant or maintaining a pregnancy right now having miscarriages and things of that nature emotional overwhelm shutting down the need for self-care disharmony negligence being materialistic being overprotective of your creations being overly dependent on others so definitely not feeling like an empress in this energy this could be a needy energy um, for sure so here's the affirmation you can say for this energy of this card dear pisces i am ready to give birth to my abundantly rich future and if your future if your past hasn't been this way and your present is not this way which it clearly does not seem to be call that in and allow yourself to be free and move forward even if it's new territory with you for you with these page energies coming out page of wands and page of pentacles it is going to help you to get your stability and balance and trust in yourself once again to be able to take care of yourself you are very resilient dear pisces and the angels are absolutely here to assist you because they know you are good and you deserve it empress energy in reverse for pisces Ten of Cups, absolutely. This was somebody or something that was close to your heart that you lost, all right? This was your world, your happiness. And this definitely had an effect on you, whatever it was. Left you needing to move, maybe even, you know, across water, um, but needing to move, but maybe there's so much coming at you at this time that it's making it hard for you to be able to do so. Hierophant energy. Ace of Cups, loving yourself is really all you can do at this time. You know, staying committed to yourself, at least showing up for yourself, you know. People can, you know, lie, cheat, and steal to us, hold back and not allow us to, you know, feel happy, try to hold back you know our own happiness by more or less degrading us you know constantly causing these conflicts you were seeing that this is all the past was bringing all of these conflicts the blindfold was definitely taken off but you really didn't want to see it is what i see here you know you saw your value and worth and you saw the truth but at the same time it's like is this really what I got myself into kind of situation? Is this really how this is ending up? And you can see why this would make you feel this way, you know, when you thought that this was your world, that this was your end all be all, if you will. Six of Pentacles. In your mind, 
on your mind. Yes, you're standing your ground. You're not accepting anything where people are not being fair to you. They're not giving fairly. They're not giving what you're giving or you're not over giving at least. Do you know what I mean? They're not crossing your boundaries any longer. You're standing in your power with Ace of Wands and Spirit is assisting you too as long as you're calling on this angelic assistance for yourself to help you to take the blindfold off and see so you can make the right decisions for yourself. You can pull back and rest and regain your stability, regain your understanding of your own value and worth, all right? So you won't be confused and you can move forward and have these beautiful new beginnings in your life, Pisces. It's beautiful to see. Let us see what's going on in love for you moving forward, my dear. You are regaining your balance and stability for sure, though. But call on the angels to assist you, your Pisces. And coming out for you, oh yes, we have this energy of look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And I really feel like it's been hard for you to let this person go. And maybe this person is always trying to kind of stay within your emotional recesses of your heart and kind of doesn't want you to forget about them. And maybe it is going to take a lot for you to be able to put that behind you, right? And allow the angels to come through and wash all of that away today, dear Pisces. All right, so angelic assistance for my water signs moving ahead this week. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Blessings and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.